I asked uh, to be uh, last because uh, I wanted to listen uh, to others and, and build on this um, uh, to make uh, my statement uh, different uh, from uh, my uh, f from from the, the others. Uh, so my fi final thought uh, for today is that we are at the moment of very big changes. Um, uh, moments like this require a special leader um, that is no uh, lacking at the global level. Um, uh, f on the optimistic side, uh, we have many smart people, definitely outside the politics. Uh, I, I mean about companies, I mean about uh, sci uh, science. Uh, so maybe it's a time to change the paradigm of uh, thinking and paradigm of acting and find a global leader somewhere there, in, 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 uh, for example, in, uh, on universities. Um, and every time it was my turn, I, I was listening to the others and I realized you guys had like much better ideas uh, than me repeatedly. Um, obviously, I mean, poverty is a, is a huge problem and I think it will then connect to the next step, which will be education. In fact, in most situations where we thought the answer is war, it was probably education and we, we did the wrong thing there. Um, but yeah, I think definitely, you know, we could imagine a system where, because now, I mean, we know that the resources are there to end poverty, which is not doing it because of logistics, which sounds really cruel. Um, so probably like once we can make sure that there is running water and sufficient food, the, the next thing will be giving people uh, access to education to the level where they can support themselves and improve their community and their thinking. Um, overall. So I think that that right should be a universal one. And again, if we move to other plans, we should definitely see things in this way or not. Uh, we were speaking about uh, uh, originally what I call technical uh, type of challenges, because they can be met uh, in a practical way with technology, they can be met with organization, with management. But at the same time, we also talk about the social problems, which cannot be met in the same time and with the same system. They have to be met uh, with uh, from a political level uh, because uh, you need uh, govern governments, you need uh, people who are at uh, decision uh, decision makers, meaning the, the president and the head of state. We need these people with vision. Uh, we need people with vision to govern us, to lead us, because uh, vision means that they can see uh, what kind of problems we have, what kind of problems our society is facing. I kind of want to go back to something that Dr. Diana had mentioned earlier in terms of uh, there's not enough emphasis on the humanities. Right. Um, I, I think... Um, you know, we all tend to get um, sucked into our own area of specialty. Um, and I think we need to, uh, I mean, we, obviously we need specialists. I mean, we need people who are super specialized and really, really good at what they do. Uh, but I think I, I would encourage everybody, you know, especially those who are successful in what they do, uh, to, you know, to start learning about, um, you know, learning about other aspects of the world. Um, you know, like, for example, for as a physician, I'm, I'm very interested in, you know, food security and, you know, uh, climate change. And, and I tend and I try to get involved in projects, um, you know, because uh, I think, um, you know, spe specialists in, in all sorts of fields have a lot to offer um, to, to 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 help solve uh, global global challenges.